Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the uh, World Archery Europe European Championship here in sunny Nottingham. Uh, in association with the Nottingham Building Society, um, we'd like to make a quick thank you to, uh, to the event partners. We've got World Archery Europe, of course, Lottery uh, UK Sport, Archery GB, Nottingham Building Society, uh, Nottingham City Council, and um, hashtag every road uh, to Rio as well. And the, the University of Nottingham Sports as well helped out a lot. And thank you to our match sponsors, uh, Trugo, uh, Nottingham, uh, sorry, Robin Hood Energy, Fast Graphics, and Eastern. Uh, it's a sunny day here in Nottingham, which is fantastic. Um, the uh, wind, I'm afraid, isn't, uh, isn't playing ball. Uh, the wind's coming in from the north into this amphitheatre with uh, these tall buildings around. Uh, the wind's actually swirling around quite a little bit, um, which could make it tricky for uh, for the day. Um, today's event is going to be the uh, the compound finals day, so today we will know who the uh, European champions of the compound uh, section will be. Uh, first match here, you can see they're uh, welcoming in the uh, Great Britain women's compound team, and they're going to be shooting from bronze against uh, the Netherlands. Uh, first match here, yeah, warm reception. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Elena sitting with me this afternoon. How have you been? Good morning. Good morning. How has your week been? Uh, was good. Was good. Thank You're you. Excited for today? Yeah, very. I mean, teams teams matches are always very exciting, and it's really fun to see how people are making it through. And I mean, we we have a great example here. The British team seeded tenth, and they made their way all through to the bronze match. They won against the uh, reigning world champions, Ukraine team, and uh, it was all a thing for them. It was one of the largest win that day. Then they uh, won Germany by two points, and then unfortunately in semi-final they lost to Russia, who will be shooting for gold against Turkey. Russia have been uh, been good throughout this uh, yes. this week as well. They were very strong. I mean, uh, Great Britain looked to be a bit of an underdog. Um, throughout this uh, championship on, on the women's compound team especially um, but they're coming up against uh, Netherlands here who seeded fourth originally so um, but like I say they've they knocked out Ukraine knocked out Germany all of these people uh, ranked ahead of them but it's, uh, it's gonna be an exciting match we've got Netherlands shooting first on the uh, left hand side let's see uh, we're seeing um, Gavan Kasper with an opening arrow and opening arrows are always very important for the team, just sets the mood. Just a nine, just out yes. uh, 11 o'clock there. I mean, the first hour is important, like you yes. said, to just to suss up the wind sort of conditions. I mentioned just now that the, the wind's swirling around in this uh, sort of amphitheater with these tall uh, tall buildings all around. Um, a bit of a dodgy shot there, um, but we're looking at eight low. So a bit of a tough start for these guys. Um, we're not really gonna know what how it compares until the, uh, the British ladies shoot, but um, arguably uh, an opening opportunity to take some points off. Absolutely, and Good that's a, that's a solid shot. Good. They needed this ten. Yeah, twenty-seven. Obviously, a lot of a uh, lot of hours left to shoot in this match. Um, in total, and um, the guys will be shooting twenty-four hours per team. Um, so maximum score of two forty. And Naomi Jones here setting up for the first shot. Nine Just out. out. Yeah. We saw um, yesterday we had a bit of a rehearsal. We saw a lot of archers um, just slipping off left. The, n the wind's actually coming from the northwest, which is sort of slightly head towards that Burger King mm -hmm. sign. Um, so you'll f find that if uh, a lot of arrows may go left to begin with. Ah, right. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe shamed off. laughs> always the way, always the way. Yeah, because sometimes you see if your teammate shot left, you try to aim off a little bit and maybe that exact moment the wind stopped. Yeah. Andrea with a quick one there. So point back, point behind GBR after the first three arrows. Um, nervous start from both teams, I think. Um, I think uh, everyone is just just needs to set, settle the ship a little bit. Looking strong. Just needs to be a little bit quicker, I think. Good. That's a good shot. Good. She took her time, but it was worth yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, worth the wait. They still have 40 seconds, it's it's usually more than enough. Yeah. It can be a bit stressful for the third person to shoot, obviously, because... And, uh, if we take up too much time. 
you know, as they joke, first person has two <laughs> minutes, <laughs> yeah. second person has one and a half minute, and the last one, what's what's so for there? The, for the people at home, how much time do the uh, do the artists have uh, per to shoot all their hours? Is it four minutes? No, it's it's two minutes. Two minutes for all all. It's six twenty hours. seconds per arrow. Twenty seconds. Per yes. Hour. You know this better than me. So <laughs> <laughs> Right then, 56. GBR needs a 30 just to tie here. Um, obviously, this is only a quarter of the way through the match, but uh, important not to get too far behind. So a, a 9 right. They need to find the 10 here. Yeah, they haven't found the 10 in four hours now. So let's see if Daisy Clark and... Uh, yeah, if it was a recurve match, then they would have lost the set point. Yeah. But as this is a cumulative system, then... It's it's all very unpredictable. Even even lagging behind five six points, there's yeah. still always a chance that somebody yes. on the other team gets stressed and shoots bad or right. seven or, or even blue. Then you always have a open open door for that. Yeah. Andrea here looking steady. Another nine. So I mean a 52 there is is, is a low score. I mean what we've seen from the uh, from the teams um, coming into the match, uh, GBR have scored uh, 218, 220, and a 230 against Russia, um, which is only 10 points down, and they've already dropped eight in the first uh, six hours here. So um, you may think that the uh, the face doesn't look quite look uh, 80 centimeters. It's because they've cut it down to the. Uh, just the blue colors obviously there's black and white as well and um, they cut it down because these guys are very good they shouldn't uh, they shouldn't be missing the blue but um no as we saw, saw last week with those with the swind sometimes yeah. still five is not yeah, enough exactly. <laughs> so uh yeah 50 meters the 10 zone is only eight centimeters in diameter let's see if uh, naomi can uh, pick up gbr's first 10. taking her time taking a full two minutes <laughs> <laughs> Nice, yes. good start. Good time. They so really needed it. Yeah. To set the, the con to get the confidence back and exactly. So whoever's uh, whoever's behind in the match will actually shoot first going into the next end. Um so this gives uh, GBR a good opportunity to put the pressure on Netherlands. So we're unsure what that is. Um the scorers have called it an eight there. It could be upgraded to a nine, but if that is an eight, then uh, all days your shot is three eights, and uh, that's holding GBR back a little bit. Yes. Nine. Nine there from. I think uh, Andrew is a little bit low. Let's see what Netherlands has. Over to Netherlands. Yeah. They started with a twenty-seven uh, in, the, in their initial match, so um, they only need a. Couple of good hours in this end, and they can still hold their lead. And there's one straight away ten. That was a, that was a solid shot. Yeah. I mean, Inge is a very experienced archer. She has been shooting in the high level for for a while now, and you would expect her to shoot a ten. That's fair enough. Even under these conditions yes. and pressures. No. Just just out. Just out. Yeah. I mean, Netherlands seem to have a good setup uh, at home for their uh, for their compounders, especially, and they're obviously their reek of the shooting well yes. as well. But uh, their training setup—I mean, everyone seems to be benefit benefiting from uh, from the regime over there. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you always expect Netherlands to shoot well. Oh, nine eight line, nine, eight line. and maybe they didn't quite maybe. take uh, full advantage of uh, of GBR's slight slip up there, but. Um, Say it's, it's it's time to turn the heat up a little bit. I'm afraid GBR. And they should they should start shooting tens. Yeah, Naomi. Well, uh, she started with a ten in the last end. Well, it's just an, an eight now. It's too many eights so far. Nearly halfway through this match, and you can already feel it slipping away a little but bit. But if you, if you if you look at them, uh, if you look at the towels and the quivers, you can see that there's actually a little bit more windy yeah. than we feel from here. So maybe it's not that that easy as it looks like. I mean, we are in the tent, but <laughs> but you are right. I think uh, the, the, w the problem with this, not not the problem with this venue, but it, it like I say, the tall buildings around this amphitheater is is causing the wind to swirl around a little bit so um, a good time there to finish yes. so 54 better than the last 10 but still i'm gonna be aggressive as it is still not good enough as yet so uh, they need they need to do a bit better if they really want to get this bronze medal home exactly so um 20 what do uh what do netherlands need here if they keep shooting tens yes. like this then they're they're, they're gonna win aren't they so
There are still two ends to go. Mm. Only 13 back uh, behind GBI with two hours to spare. Great, great solid. Shot. Didn't look didn't look that that good, but looked like she had to steer that yeah. one in a little bit. Yeah. Didn't yeah. But it's an X. Yes. So as you can see, there they have plenty of time actually in the team round. If there is still 10 seconds yeah. left, that's yeah. enough. Great and shooting. yes, and they get they did a great great job the sent the 30. 56, 57 against the 52, 54. There's the difference. To be honest, you, I think it's just a lot. Uh, too, too many eights from Great Britain so yes. far. And not enough tens not enough to tens. compensate for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah se seven points is, is already quite quite big difference. However, as, as I said, in team rounds, anything can happen. Yeah. Just, exact, just absolutely anything can happen. Yeah. You can see um, each team are allowed a, a coach in the box there. Um, obviously, you see the the gentleman there, Simon Scott, uh, GBR's coach. There, their responsibility is to to make sure that the archers know how much time they've got left, and um, just give them a bit of motivation in between ends, and and like I say, just coach essentially. But um, it's always nice when you have somebody standing behind you, even if some people say they I don't need anybody there, but you just know that somebody's standing there and you're not alone. And if you're lost, if you have a bad shot. You have a bit of a bit more confidence if somebody's there. It can be a lonely place on that uh, on that yes. line, even though it's you're surrounded by people, people watching you. You can be feel very alone. See when the, the crowd they understand the the game. When uh, when the archers on the line, it all quiets down yes. and it gets extremely extremely quiet and very tense. You can hear a pin drop, and uh, it can be quite off putting. But um, like I say, the coach is there just to make sure that the archers are are in their comfort zone. The coaches should know exactly what each archer wants and expects. Yes. And, um, in a lot of cases, the archers are training separately. And mm -hmm. for example, the national coach sees them maybe once, twice a year. And you don't. Th these coaches, they don't really know the these athletes what they need. But yeah. it's still very important that there is someone, and especially if they have some mental training knowledge, they can really calm down athletes a lot, right. especially in such stressful conditions. Exactly. So Naomi Jones is uh, she's not the only couple of tens there with the oh, with good GB shot. team. Good start. She started well last ten. Just hope she um, she sees it through instead of shooting an eight with a second arrow. But you can see Andrea Gales just waiting there behind Daisy to shoot this arrow. She's standing behind a one meter line. Um, essentially, uh, the the archer shooting has to be off and behind that line before the next archer comes along. So Daisy shot that nine and and. She steps off and just steps on, very simple. And you're also not allowed to pull out your arrow from the yeah, quiver. Course, yeah. For that you can get a yellow card, which means you have to go step behind this one meter line and then yeah. move forward. Nine. And it costs time. It costs a lot of time. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can see the judge just floating around there, a bit like a referee, just making sure that the archers are abiding to the rules. Um, at some point you may see the, uh, the yellow card be pulled out for that infringement we were talking yes. about, but the, the teams practice this kind of thing, so they should be fine. So this is a little bit of opportunity yeah. for for team of Great Britain. So Great Britain, yes. They shot 28. It's it's quite 28. it's quite good, and they were those nines were not that far from mm. the ten line. This is good. Um, so Great Great Britain have pulled at least one point back here after the first three hours of the third end, which they really need. They need, yeah, but. They are only four points ahead with uh, an arrow spare, so we'll, um, we'll see if they can take advantage in the next three arrows. Another nine, okay. An opportunity here for Great Britain. Um, I'd suggest that they would need a good 30 end here. Five points behind, and they have nine arrows left to shoot. They, they really have to shoot them good. They can't drop too many more points now. Looking yes. good, Naomi. Two tens, great, great from her. Daisy, I'm not sure she has shot a ten yet in this match. Uh, maybe one at least. Um, but it's time to step up now. She's uh, she is a junior, um, shooting on a senior level, which is good for her. But that's a good grouping good. there. It's good, yeah, it's good. You know, they seem to have settled in a little bit now. Obviously, the not not so many eights. Yes. Um, close nines to the ten couple of tens as well so I think Andrea is the most experienced of this team so um, she needs to step up rally 
suits a nine. Commentator's curse almost mm -hmm. there, but a 56 is okay. Yes. Um, if uh, if Netherlands shoot a 30 here, they tie the end. They have done. They have shot a 30 already, but maybe they're just starting to feel the pressure a little bit. Ten. Ten. That's a good shot. The opposite of the commentator's curse. Uh, they seem I think they also realize that if they if they want to keep the advantage, they have to also compensate for the first three arrows they shot. They seem to have shot this right target extremely well. Um, hopefully, when uh, when we watch this arrow go in, just have a look at how. Just look at the old yeah. arrow holes. There's only that nine and nine yes. four. They seem to uh, shoot well in their second half of their ends. So. Probably for them, a bit more pressure is good. For yeah. our team, we always shoot very good on the very well on the left target face because we have a bit more time, and then on the right one is always all over the place. Just snuck into the line there, uh, Netherlands with their last arrow. It could be could be fairly important. You know, I know obviously uh, they're a long way ahead here. Well, five points ahead, but if that arrow wasn't in the uh, in the nine and it was in the eight, we're looking at four points, and four points is is it's already better than seven. Yes, exactly. It's already better. So uh, yeah, five points to the uh, the difference. Six hours left to shoot, and uh, Netherlands with the advantage here. Um, we have one end to go. One end to go. They are the they're the highest seed. Um, you'd like to see, you'd like to expect them to uh, to see this through. But um, Great Britain have been fighting low odds all week, so mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's possible for this to turn around. Yeah, absolutely. Especially sometimes. You know, sometimes teams in team matches, if you shoot against, first team shoot against a team uh, ranked 16th, they do have this little bit in their mind that it's going to be easy match because you're shooting against lower ranked team and then you relax. And then there are a lot of times when the team ranked 16 win against the first one and then they just continue and continue. So. Uh, interestingly, um, obviously it, it may not happen in this match, obviously with five points difference, but if the teams were to tie, uh, we would go into uh, a shoot-off, um, whereby each team would shoot three arrows, uh, and the team with the highest score after these three arrows wins the match. Um, if there's a tie, they'd go again, but um, hopefully GBR can get, to, uh, can get us close to that. So five points of difference. I'm going to say they need a 60 here, or close to, to stand a chance. Nine. Just out. Unlucky nine. She has shot well in this uh, in this team round. She a slow start there, shot an eight to the start, but um, she sh shot two tens in the last end. That one's only just out. It's not too bad. Come on, Daisy. Nine. She's, uh, she's struggling a little bit. She just yes. seems to be going around the ten, um, rather than focusing in on it. Um, Andrea here, she needs to start, she needs this to go in the 10, so the experienced member of the team just needs to step up here. She's looking a little shaky there. That's also one of the reasons why no why no you no can no. shoot more right and left, just because you're nervous and mm -hmm. your sight or pin is not exactly in the middle, and you may have even a very good shot, but not mm -hmm. necessarily goes in, in, in the middle. For those of you who don't know much about the uh, the setup here, the, the compound archers, I'll go into more detail later on, but the, the pin that uh, Elena was talking about is, uh, is a magnified sight. Um, so the archers are looking through. Yeah. That was a uh, good shot. Yeah, it was good, good turn. Um, they're looking through the uh, the magnified sight and they can see the, uh, the target's obviously a lot bigger and it looks like the pin, which is what they aim with, shakes around a lot more. Um, and like I say, when you're nervous, it's very difficult to hold yes. that pin in the middle. Taking advantage of uh, GBR's uh, three nines here. Um, GBR standard chance, they've only got three arrows left to shoot. This needs to be a fairly bad arrow. Obviously, you wouldn't wish that upon anyone. Uh, but it's a good one. Best arrow of the uh, of the end there. So they're back to their seven point, point advantage. Seven points of three arrows. Impossible. <laughs> Everything, is, Everything possible. is possible. Everything yes. is possible. Um, but a 30, just a standard chance, has to be done. Good 10 from Naomi. Well done. It's first of the t of the three yep. they need to shoot. Come on then, Daisy. She's been very successful on the junior circuit, Daisy has, and uh, she's a, an accomplished field archer as well. 
um, and she's uh, she's doing extremely well to uh, to make her way into the uh, the senior British target team as well. She's, uh, she's a promising young act. Fair play, Andrea. As we've mentioned, experienced, has uh, been on the team for many years. Uh, a ten here. Uh, an eight here. <laughs> They made it a bit easier for, for the Dutch team. It's just, they, they only have a chance right now if, if the Dutch ladies make a mistake. Yes, yeah. So we've got uh, 20 points of difference, three hours to go. Three sevens, and uh, the Netherlands have won this match. Doesn't look like... No, nope. 10 more points to go. Here we go. They've shot well the Netherlands in all fairness. What we're we looking at this could be um this could be a, a 227, 226, which is a respectable score. So they need to hit the target to win this match. Obviously the scoring zones start from five uh, through the blue, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A hit and they've won. Yes. Fantastic bronze medal for the uh, the Netherlands. Um, good start to their uh, their finals day. Uh, they have um, they have Peter Elzinger later on uh, in the day in the men's gold match. So a couple more medals left for uh, for Netherlands to, uh, to gain today. Um, for Great Britain, that's the day over, and there'll be some more matches for them tomorrow in the week of day. Um, however, a fourth place for them uh, is, is good. So it's good. They rank 10th, and I think it's it's really it really shows that they were able to fight through from the 10th to, to get to, to make it to the bronze match and to get fourth. It's of course it's probably not what they expected, but it's still it's still a good result. Yeah, I think if, uh, if they at the start of the tournament, if um, if someone said, "Look, you're going to come fourth," they'd have said, "Yes, I'll, I'll be happy with that." Yes. Um, but they showed uh, they showed spirit throughout the tournament, underdogs throughout, and uh, maybe their luck just uh, finally ran out at the, at the last hurdle. But um, they come up against uh, a very tough Netherlands team there, 227, very respectable, 226, sorry, very respectable score. So.